Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop Spotlight. I'm Jared Johnson, and with this series, we're highlighting returning veterans. We spend a lot of time and effort, uh, you know, kind of breaking down the, the new blood, the new guys, uh, recruits coming to the program. But I felt like it'd be a good time to kind of go over and talk about the development of some of the returning veterans on Texas Tech's roster. And I think one of my all-time favorite Red Raiders, one of my all-time favorite athletes I've covered, is Avery Benson, a former walk-on from Springdale, Arkansas. And I talk with him a lot uh, during the recruiting process and, uh, you know, where his head was at. And he just, the bottom line is, he really likes Coach Beard, Coach Adams, and the coaching staff. And uh, when they were at Arkansas Little Rock, they recruited him really hard. And they just kind of continued to recruit him when they went on to Tech. Uh, and bottom line is, you know, last season he was picked up as a full scholarship player. Uh, and I think right now the roster is set at 15 players, which is two over the limit. And so the, the thought around Benson is that he might return and, and probably will return to walk-on status. Now, um, that's not to say that Avery Benson isn't an important part of this roster. As a matter of fact, he's the kind of guy that brings everyone together behind the scenes. Uh, Coach Beard is really big on team togetherness. It's really important since he's always overturning the roster. Benson's a guy that provides both camaraderie, uh, great work ethic, and uh, this is, you know, kind of explain kind of a conduit between the coaching staff and the, and the new players. This is how it's done around here at Texas Tech. Uh, so he's very important. And then on the court, I mean, look, look no further than the game against Louisville last year where he had a career-high 10 points, four rebounds, and that amazing block, which in my opinion was the highlight of the entire season. Red Raiders knocked off number one uh, Louisville in New York. And at halftime, it was a close game. Looked like Louisville was going in for a breakaway layup, and he came flying out of nowhere and rejected the shot into the, I don't know, the 20th row of Madison Square Garden. It's just uh, amazing play there by Avery Benson, and epitomizes what he brings uh, to the team. And I think, while compared to like everyone else on this roster at this point, the way Coach Beard is recruited, I mean, yeah, he doesn't have the pedigree of any of the other guys, but. To say he's untalented or he's unathletic would be a mistake. He has very good hops. Um, it's not just that his effort uh, makes him a good defender, but also he is athletic enough to be a good defender. Very good team defend defender, good on the ball defender. I think he could be a quintessential 3 and D kind of guy. That when you need a shot in the arm, your stars aren't performing right. Throw him out there and say, this is how it's done. Uh, provide a spark to the team. So Vincent is an invaluable person, player on the roster, both on and off the court, in my opinion. I don't know how many minutes he's going to get on the star-studded roster, but I think there will be, every minute will be earned, and I think he will make a big impact. I look forward to following Vincent his entire playing career, and then I think he'll be a great coach when he's all said and done, if he wants to. He may go make a million dollars or millions of dollars of business, but I think he would be a, a fantastic coach. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up joining Coach Beard's staff uh, at, at some point after his career. But uh, with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and until next time.